Hey guys, once again I apologize for um, not uploading a video in a while, um, but anyway I've just been kind of busy and I've kind of lost track of time because it's like the summer holidays and you know how that goes. So um, today this is going to be a mini collective haul, um, a few things I've accumulated over the past couple weeks or so. Um, the first thing is this Biore face wash and this is the mild version and I just picked this up at it was either Watson's or Manning's which is the Hong Kong equivalent of um, the UK drugstores like Boots or Superdrug and um, this is basically a mild face wash um, it's kind of like a cream uh, consistency which and it contains moisturizing lotion from Japan um, and the cleanser is supposed to balance and retain moisture inside your skin through that moisturizer that they provide and um, it's a rich and delicate foam which can wash away hidden dirt leaving skin clean and hydrated after each wash so it's supposed to wash away grease and dirt thoroughly and help to prevent acne as well and because it's a mild formula it um, it's not supposed to irritate skin so it should be suitable for sensitive skin they also have um, face washes for um, acne specifically so that would probably have some kind of oil controlling ingredient in there like salicylic acid or something this is just a random guess and they also have like um, I think a hydrating version as well but I chose the mild version because I felt like maybe my Garnier um, Garnier Skin Naturals uh, pure cleansing foam was maybe a bit too drying on my skin uh, even though I have oily skin because sometimes if you have oily skin and you use very drying products um, your, it can make your skin feel like it's dehydrated and it needs to produce even more oil to counteract the dryness and that just exacerbates the problem and um, can cause more acne than you had to begin with so um, I think a mild cleanser is always, way, is always a good way forward um, regardless of whether you have acne or whether you have dry skin, oily skin or combination skin because um, a mild facial wash will not interfere with the natural balance of your skin um, and I just think it's the healthiest way to go with skincare. So um, I've been using this mainly at night because in the morning I do feel like I need to remove the oil that has um, surfaced throughout the night so um, in the mornings I will I have been using my Garnier um, cleanser just because uh, I think it cleans my face better in the morning when my skin is oilier but at night because I, I do a two-step cleansing at night with my uh, philosophy purity made simple to remove my makeup and then I use a cleanser which is where the Biore comes in um, I feel that I don't need that oil removal as much at night because the oil has already been removed by the Philosophy Purity Made Simple Cleanser if that makes sense so uh, and because this contains moisturizing lotion I think it's good for nighttime because that's when you need to keep your skin especially hydrated um, because it's during the night that your skin um, recovers and regenerates itself um, that's when the cell renewal process happens so first thing was the Biore facial wash in the mild formula and sorry I rambled about that way longer than I had planned um, secondly I got I finally got a new kabuki brush from the body shop which is the one I had planning to be to get for a while now and it's the nature's minerals foundation brush is what they call it but it's really a kabuki and I've, I just got it yesterday so I've washed it already and I haven't used it yet but as you can see the bristles are really dense um, I believe they're synthetic hairs they look and feel like synthetic hairs um, and I think this will be great to buff in my um, Laura Mercier Mineral Powder Foundation and also to use with my MAC MSF Natural to set my liquid foundation when I do wear liquid foundation so I'm looking forward to trying this and um, I'll probably maybe do a review on this if you guys want me to um, just let me know in the comments below and then from Chanel um, I decided to treat myself because I had to take this written test at um, a company, let's just leave it at that, keep it vague, and um, 
I, I was really stressed. It was a really stressful experience. So right after I took the test, I wandered to the Chanel counter and decided to treat myself. And I got a, a Chanel Rouge Allure Lac. And it's my first Rouge Allure Lac. It's basically their liquid lipstick. And this is the color I got. It's a gorgeous sort of brightened coral pink. It's kind of like a natural lip color, but brighter. So it really um, brightens up your face and makes you look really fresh and um, but still natural and the color is number 77 which is Santal so basically the Rouge de Lacs are supposed to be um, a lipstick and a lip gloss in one so it has the pigmentation of a lipstick but the shine of a lip gloss as well and it lasts a pretty good amount of time on your lips um, I'd say a few hours which is pretty good for a liquid formula like this it doesn't really set to like a dry finish or anything, it pretty much maintains this sort of thicker liquid consistency and that's the color. Um, I'm really happy with this purchase and you know as expected the packaging is gorgeous so that's what I got from Chanel and lastly yesterday I got a mascara from Dior which has been on my wish list for a while now and it's the Dior Show Blackout mascara. Um, I'm wearing it today and I'm really impressed. Um, it doesn't so much lengthen as much, um, but it does provide a lot of volume, volume, volume. And the best thing about it is how black the mascara is. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's very, very black on the lashes and it does make a huge difference to your overall look. It just deepens up the eyes and um, really sort of accentuates um, your eyes really well, just like an eyeliner is supposed to do, but through a mascara. And as you can see, the brush is really, really nice and full. It's basically like the perfect mascara brush, I think. Um, I think it's a, yeah, it's a natural bristle brush and it's very big, but it's tapered at the end, so it's good for reaching the corner lashes. And it's got kind of like this spiral shape to the bristles. So um, I guess that does the separation for you. So overall, um, I've only used it once so far, but I really like it um, so far. The only thing is though, it smells really, really toxic. Like, it smells kind of like paint or really, really artificial glue. Um, so it might not be that great for your lashes because it probably contains a lot of chemicals, but um, I love the effects, so hopefully it's okay. Um, and then it says here that it's supposed to last for six months, so Maybe you shouldn't believe people when they say that you should chuck a mascara out after three months. If Dior says that it lasts for six months, I think that's pretty authoritative, but I don't know. And once again, I'm checking the time. Okay, we have a bit of time left, so I'm going to ramble on a bit about... Well, first I'll show you these samples I got from Dior after I got the mascara. Um, they gave me these HydroLife um, skincare um, samples. And it was a pretty, it's a pretty generous sample. They give me like four, four different things to try out. There's the um, Youth Essential Hydrating Essence in Lotion, which I suppose is like a toner. Um, a Youth Essential Hydrating Essence in Milk, which I'm not really sure what that's supposed to do. So if you know, please let me know in the comments. Um, they also gave me the Youth Essential Hydrating Essence in Gel, which is like a, I guess a gel form of the milk. That's the milk, that's the gel, and then they also gave me the Youth Essential Hydrating Essence in Cream, so I guess it's the cream version of the same thing, and I guess you just pick which one suits your skin type, depending on how dry or oily it is, that's, that's what I think it's for. And lastly, I also went to Aesop, and I didn't get anything from Aesop, but um, I've always been quite intrigued by their products because I just love the apothecary style of their bottles and the fact that they use a lot of natural botanical ingredients and um, like bot botanical extracts and natural fruit and herb oils and stuff like that. So once I've sort of finished up my skincare that I have at the moment, uh, I really do want to try the Aesop skincare, um, in particular their cleanser and well actually I want to try everything because I picked up a pamphlet and everything just looks so gorgeous and I love how the pamphlet itself has that sort of vintage apothecary feel and 
I think it, they like to market themselves as a sort of intelligent skincare brand because at the end of the pamphlet, they even have this section on um, the A to Z of Aesop preferred scribblers, as in their favorite writers and novelists. And they have people like Albert Camus, Dr. Seuss, um, let's see, like George Orwell, um, Henry James, and yeah, just a lot of writers and um, a brief like bio on them, where they're from, what they do, and which novel to begin with if you want to check out their, their um, stuff. So I think that's a really nice touch and you don't often see like beauty brands that that have a touch of intelligence to them and I don't know some added interest so Aesop is something I'm really looking forward to getting into more in the near future so that's my little ramble for now um, I'm gonna have August favorites coming out really soon I'm sorry for abandoning my channel for uh, like a week or so but um, I'm gonna try to do this more frequently but I am going on holiday soon but Anyway, I need to go now because the video is getting too long, but I hope you're all doing well, and I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye!